Sabina Flight 571 was a scheduled passenger flight from Brussels to Lod via Vienna operated by the Belgian national airline, Sabina. On 8 May 1972 a Boeing 707 passenger aircraft operating that service, captained by British pilot Reginald Levy, DFC, was hijacked by four members of the Black September Organization, a Palestinian terrorist group. Following their instructions, Captain Levy landed the plane at Lod Airport, later Ben Gurion International Airport. The attack, planned by Ali Hassan Salame, was carried out by a group of two men and two women who pretended to be two couples. The group's leader Ali Taha Abu Snina, plus Abed Al Aziz Atrash, Rima Tanus, and Teresa Halsa. They were armed with two handguns, two hand grenades, and two belts of explosives. Twenty minutes out of Vienna, the hijackers entered the cockpit. As you can see, Captain Levy told the 90 passengers, We have friends aboard. He concealed from the hijackers that his wife was a passenger on the plane. <laughs> Hijacking Soon after taking command, the hijackers separated the Jewish hostages from the others and sent them to the back of the aircraft. When the plane had landed, the hijackers demanded the release of 315 convicted Palestinian terrorists imprisoned in Israel, and threatened to blow up the airplane with its passengers. Captain Levy managed to send the Israelis a coded message requesting help. Defense Minister Moshe Dayan and Transport Minister Shimon Peres, who would become Prime Minister and later President of Israel, conducted negotiations with the hijackers while preparing a rescue operation, code named, Operation Isotope. Captain Levy said he talked to the hijackers about everything, from navigation to sex. While the passengers and crew waited to be rescued, on 9 May 1972 at 4 p.m. the rescue operation began, a team of 16 Sayare Matkal commandos, led by Ehud Barak and including Benjamin Netanyahu, both future Israeli prime ministers, approached the aircraft disguised as aircraft technicians in white coveralls. Having immobilized it during the preceding night, they convinced the hijackers that its hydraulic system needed repair. There was an unexpected last-minute bathroom break delay for one of the team members. They then stormed the aircraft, killing both male hijackers within two minutes. They also captured the two female hijackers and rescued all 90 remaining passengers. Three passengers were wounded in the exchange of fire, one of whom, 22-year-old Miriam Anderson, later died of her injuries. Netanyahu was also wounded during the rescue when another commando, Marco Ashkenazi, accidentally discharged his gun as he used it to hit Teresa Halsa. The bullet passed through her and penetrated Netanyahu's bicep. Topic. Aftermath Halsa and Rima Tanus were eventually sentenced to life imprisonment Halsa for 220 years. They were freed in November 1983. In a prisoner exchange after the 1982 Lebanon War, Sabina continued to operate the aircraft for another five years, until it was purchased by Israel Aircraft Industries. It was eventually sold to the Israeli Air Force, and served as a spy plane for many years, participating in most of the Air Force's long range operations. Captain Levy, a Royal Air Force veteran who took part in strategic bombing missions over Germany during World War II and also in the Berlin Airlift, had joined Sabina in 1952. He retired in 1982 and died of a heart attack, at a hospital near his home in Dover on 1 August 2010. The hijacking took place on his 50th birthday. In media 
From Night Flack to Hijack, It's a Small World, Autobiography by Captain Reginald Levy DFC. Sabina Hijacking, My Version, Israeli docudrama depicting the hijacking and rescue, in which three prime ministers of Israel were involved. <laughs>